Hey everybody, today we're going to discuss BPC-157 in combination with TB-500. What's the point here? We've done extensive videos on both peptides in question, which will be in the description below. However, let's do a quick review, a one or two liner of each, if you will. Uh, so BPC-157 is synthetically derived from human gastric juices, and it's shown its ability to heal skin and deep tissue abnormalities in many ways, from various types of fistulas to reversal of NSAID-induced gastrointestinal injury and diabetic ulcers, while encouraging new blood blood vessel formation and increased perfusion to injured areas. TB500 or TB4 is a peptide that was originally synthesized from the thymus, but shown it's very pervasive and found in most tissues throughout the body, even those surrounding the brain. It's been shown to be involved primarily in actin sequestration or maintenance of cellular structural support, movement, muscle contraction, and like BPC, its promise lies in its ability to heal diffusely, more specifically in terms of corneal repair, cardioprotective properties, and just general anti-inflammation. So I think of combining these two peptides differently than I would in peptides that kind of work together synergistically on the same pathway, like sermorolin and ipamorelin, for instance. So sermorolin stimulates GHRH release, ipamorelin further encourages growth hormone release, which is a bit downstream, while creating an environment that positively <laughs> encourages more GHRH release. Combining them both increases both GHRH and GH release, in theory. BPC-157 and TB-500 together have overlapping roles, so it seems they're used in combo as like a cover all my bases peptide approach to healing. Some differences I've pointed out in my research is that BPC seems to be more investigated in regards to muscle injuries like muscle crush injuries and just general pain. And interestingly, TB500 is more thought to be involved in anti-apoptosis, i.e. prevention of programmed cell death, which I think can be good, but also, you know, it's something that's just a bit concerning given, you know, the fact that apoptosis is often, um, you know, a healthy controlled mechanism by which the body would essentially just kill off injured cells, damaged cells, old senescent cells. So, you know, it's a component to be more investigated for sure. Another cool thing about TB500 is that it's being studied in its use um, in sepsis. So sepsis is essentially a dysregulated immune response to an infection within the blood, a systemic infection that's really high mortality. It's dangerous, oftentimes fatal. And so possibly TB500 could decrease some of the inflammatory properties that propagate negative results in sepsis. So this is just a cool component of research that I'm going to stay tuned on and uh, hopefully is dived into more. As those who watch my channel know, BPC-157 is the peptide that I predict or I think will have the most exciting future, uh, at least to me. It's shown promise in regenerating skin, muscle, GI tract stability, and just, you know, ulcer recovery and healing diffusely. There's not much like it out there in the world of peptides. So these are my thoughts. Take it with a grain of salt or pepper or oregano, whatever the heck you want. That said, here's the cut to the chase and evidence-based um, approach to the TB500 BPC157 blend that is definitely popular and um, I think worth looking into if you're interested in peptide research like myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, uh, just throw in a like and a subscribe. It's the only way to support the channel and I appreciate you. Thanks. Take care.